hello guys uh, assalamu alaikum good morning uh, i am mohammad shahzad arshad and uh, we are going to start a new uh, course which is related to data center architect and design uh, sorry being uh, very very late on my channel back uh, and uh, actually i was busy in some projects that's why i haven't time to manage and uh, make a new videos uh, okay uh, I have a plenty of time now I'm gonna start again uh, some good knowledgeable uh, video lectures for the IT lovers and the guys who's working in the IT field mm, they can uh, see and get the good wonderful knowledge from these videos okay this video this video series probably it will go lecture till five six seven maybe I would I would not try to make uh, uh, you know longer video than 20 to 15 minutes because 10 to 20 minutes is enough and uh, that's enough and uh, people will and I, I will do it uh, with the very scratch level and uh, I will try to deliver my knowledge to other IT guys with the very simple way okay let's uh, dig into it and uh, we are gonna see what is data center and why we require a data center and uh, what is actually data center a lot of newcomers they are keep sending me messages that it, what is data center is it a switch is it a server or is it what so if we go to the proper uh, you know data center uh, you can say if I go on my slide views but better you can see here I'll go one by one here so first is uh, what is data center a data center stores or shares applications and data it comp uh, comprises components that include switches storage systems servers routers cables uh, patch panels a lot of other stuff which is uh, in the data center so, but the main uh, uh, four or five things which I'm gonna discuss here is uh, related to data center the main major components are like we have a storage system we have a servers we have a, uh, switches and uh, let's go in these components one by one and uh, we will start watching what is the requirement and uh, what does it work for and uh, let's go to the first one is the servers you know this is the server uh, you may use a uh, uh, single servers rack mounts but most of the data centers and I would like to tell you guys we will we are going to discuss here not a mine uh, smaller or not a very bigger it's like an enterprise middle level uh, data center we are going to uh, discuss here so in this server uh, servers uh, a lot of people they are using uh, you know rack mount single servers like 1u 2u um you like uh, when we say one you two to you it's like a size for the you know rack uh, a lot of other guys they see the racks like in this picture in our first we have we see we can see here these are the racks so the racks uh, have a numbering on that one you two you three you four you five you so if i say one you so it means a smaller server here so this is a 1U server and then if we go to the 2U that will be a bigger server and if we go like uh, maybe this one is a 10U or 4U, 5U or 6U more than 5, 6U so this is the size of the server so this server called blade server which has a lot of other servers in one chassis so you can purchase you can see a lot of chassis here in dell ibms and a lot of other companies they are making the blade servers so this is the first component which is required for the data center uh, uh, these servers if we don't have a servers we cannot install our applications we cannot serve to the clients and other uh, guys so this is the uh, server the first component okay so hopefully you guys understand the why we required a servers might might be a company gonna install some SQL servers some uh, AD servers and some domain controllers some you know DNSs DSAPs so we must need uh, servers to install our server applications on this 
so this is the first component which required for the data center and if we go to the second one the second uh, component is our server switch so server switches uh, will be connecting us to the servers the chassis if we have one two three four chassis so we have to uh, have a server switches which is bringing our clients and our uh, traffic to the servers so we one component is a uh, server switch these are all components so later on on the next lectures we are going to connect and i would like to show you the how we can build a data center one by one and where which position which location is the server switch which location is the uh, storage switch and which location is the other components so this is the uh, second components we required server switches and if we go to the third component like after server switches we'll go to third component which is our uh, storage so storage you can use any you can use a ddn you can use uh, dell storage you can use a dell emc which is before uh, emc was a separate now they combine dell by the emc now they are both in one company so they merged uh, emc actually merged into the dell into the dell so you can use a storage storage we might our server required a lot of plenty of space for our data our files our you know other uh, cctv storages and other things so storage another major component third major component in the data center let's go to the next fourth one if i come into the fourth the fourth is uh, our storage switches as same we used uh, server switches to connect our servers we must need a uh, storage switches uh, to connect our uh, you know storage side uh, between the storage and the mm, server and storage we used storage switches so you can use a small uh, if you have a small level data center requirement as per your requirement you can use uh, storage switches mostly people using uh, cisco storage switches which called uh, n series n 7k and 5k so it depends on ne on the needs uh, how many servers and how many storage components you're gonna connect to your uh, storage switch and required in the data center so you can use it uh, uh, you know as per your requirements so and fourth component is our storage switch which is uh, required in the data center the next one fifth one the last uh, i will conclude our discussions here because intro um, about the components in the data center last one is our core switch the core switch is the main brain in the data center which is uh, sitting in like a, in in a in a roundabout or sitting in the middle of the junction of the roads so it will pass the traffic from outside to the data center and from data center to the outside so core switch is uh, connected with the server switches and with the servers so two components the server switches and the server side is connected to our uh, core switch and it is the main brain which is providing us the routing which is providing us the vlans and everything we are gonna use for our core switch so this was the introductory uh, our uh, you know lecture about the data center and guys must wait for the next videos also it's gonna be really interesting and the guys who are the newcomers definitely they're gonna enjoy and learn a lot so i would suggest you to stay tuned with me and then uh, we will meet you into the next lecture so the, hopefully if you have any hopefully you understand i try to deliver uh, the knowledge very simple way and uh, everyone can understand this one this lecture so the upcoming lecture is gonna be really interesting and uh, i will request if you are new on my channel uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos so you can get notified as soon as possible the video is on air so guys uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the video the lecture 
I would like to tell you that what is on my channel, you can have a lot of other stuff on uh, to learn on my channel. See, if you go on my channel, you can have uh, my home lab videos here. You can see the home lab videos I'm using for the my videos. And if you go on the videos and playlists, you will have uh, a lot of plenty of stuff for the IT guys, especially for the you know the. Uh, uh, server administration actor directory 20 lectures vmware a lot of other lectures and uh, the guys from india and pakistan they can go to my you know uh, urdu hindi ccna lectures if you see here is the uh, whole series of uh, lectures all uh, regarding to the ccna ccnp and a lot yeah, of other stuff uh, video on this one so you guys can search on my channel and in the playlist you can find a lot of videos if you are regarding the storage free nas we have uh, a lot of uh, videos and uh, next uh, if we go to the uh, cyber security oh my god you guys can have a cyber security and sql servers videos a lot of six videos which have a redundancy how to you know uh, configure and install uh, always on mirroring cluster a lot of stuff you can find on my uh, channel so if you are a new on my channel you can visit the playlist and you can search uh, a lot of videos here is more than 400 500 videos on my channel regarding the microsoft servers the, the cisco courses ccna security ccnp routing switching ccnp ccna routing switchings and a lot of stuff regarding the uh, you know cyber security so cyber security in hindi also available urdu hindi you can have and cyber security in english uh, i have the videos uh, you know a lot of guys uh, they want to learn uh, you know cyber security and kali linux uh, security onion is the uh, big uh, tool right right now in the world you can do a lot of penetration testings and uh, vulnerability scannings a lot of stuff so thank you uh, guys uh, hopefully you have enjoyed my channel and videos take care enjoy